It does drag in the room. Oh. Seconds. Yes, Norberto, what did you make? I made a car, and the way that this car works is that I got the motor, and so I plugged it into the computer, and I put these, these spins on, and I put one wheel on this. I put the rubber band on, so that when the when the stick twists, it will twist this one, it will twist this little green wheel, and the rubber band will pull on it, and keep and repeatedly making the car move across the table. Nice. I believe the gear is this one because this one, this one like hooks onto this one, making this one move. And because this one's on the stick of that one, it twists the stick, and the stick pulls this one along for the ride. And then also these two, these two also help the car stay put. And uh, also, you know what you could do to cover this up? You could. Well, at first, what I tried to do is that I tried to put wheels, put two like big wheels on the sides. I wasn't sure if that would work that. I don't remember if that worked or not, but let's try it again. Thank you, Stuart. Don't drop your car. So let's play it again and see if the wheel stopped it or is it, or is it, or does it still work? Yeah, wheels. Oh, rubber band. Oh, the rubber band got knocked off when the wheel got put on. So always make sure that the rubber band is on when you try to start the car. Oh man. What are you working on, Stuart? I'm working on a car that pulls this thing along. Mm-hmm. Nice. Let me know once you are done. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Norberto's going to kind of have to help. Yeah, I'm going to help him yeah, because he will help I saw you. that mine was a success. Now I'm going to make Stuart a success. Good job. Good work. car actually moves because of a rubber band and a green tire and motor. Well, stop. Oh, stop. How did you make it, Mr. Wood? We took a gray piece of cloth and then the motor, the uh -huh. motor is under here, uh -huh. the gear is it's right here. Exactly, that's how it's moving. Okay, look over here.